Hi friends, welcome to yet another informative and entertaining class of mathematics. And let me tell you that we have uh, learnt and heard of terms like uh, antecedent, consequent, simplification ratio. All these are familiar, aren't they? So in this class, we are going to learn about the properties of ratio how to compare ratios, proportion and types of proportion, etc. So as of now, let us recollect all that we know so far. The cost of a car is 7 lakh rupees. The cost of a scooter is 50,000 rupees. A. Which item's cost is more? Obviously, the cost of the car is more. B. How many scooters can be bought with the cost of one car? Cost of the car by cost of the scooter is equal to 7 lakhs by 50,000 is equal to 14 scooters. How many times of the cost of the car is more than the cost of the scooter? Yes, you are right, 14 times. What did you observe from this example? What did we exactly do? We compared two quantities in how many ways? We compared it in two ways. We compared it using subtraction and by division. You must recollect that repeated subtraction is nothing but division. For easy calculation purpose, mostly division is used to compare. Now, let us see the definition of the ratio first. Ratio is the comparison of two quantities by division. Remember, ratio is calculated for the same type of quantities. We denote ratio using this symbol. Let us understand this with the help of an example. This is John and he carries 12 pencils. And this is Ram and he carries 30 pencils. Now let us find the ratio of the quantities of the pencils that John and Ram carry. Solution. Let us first make the packet of two pencils each. So how many packets do John and Ram have? Yes. 6 and 15 respectively. So, the equivalent ratio is 6 is to 15. Let us see what happens if Ram and John make packets of 3 pencils each. How many packets does each of them have? Yes, you are right. John has 4 packets and Ram has 10 packets. Therefore, the equivalent ratio is 4 is to 10. Now let us see what would be the equivalent ratio if Ram and John make a packet of 6 pencils each. Let's see. Hey, look! John has 2 packets and Ram has 5 packets. So the equivalent ratio is 2 is to 5. With these examples, I am sure you understood how to calculate equivalent ratio for any given problem. So let us proceed further. These are some of the properties of ratios. 1. Ratio has no units. 2. The ratio of A is to B is equal to A by B. 3. 
if a is greater than b then a by b shows by how many times a is to b 4 if a is less than b then we say a by b by which part a is to b if a is to b is a ratio then b is to a is the inverse ratio let's understand this with the help of an example let us check whether a is to b is equal to b is to a or not the number of mangoes with pratima be 12 and let it be equal to a the number of mangoes with manasa be 6 and let it be equal to b so a by b is equal to 12 by 6 which is 2 times now b by a is equal to 6 by 12 which is equal to half part now what did you observe from this normally a by b is not equal to b by a which means a is to b is not equal to b is to a the order of the terms in a ratio is important if the order of the terms is changed then the value of the ratio also changes ratio can be multiplied or divided by any number it is the exact opposite process of bringing ratio into smaller form let's see some examples now ratio of numbers of apples in John and Ram's hand is 6 is to 9 Ram and John cut their each apple into three equal parts and also calculate the total number of pieces solution the total number of apple pieces in John's hand is 18 and Ram's hand is 27 so the new ratio is 18 is to 27 how did we get this new ratio let us understand this briefly the old ratio is 6 is to 9 which can also be written as 6 by 9 since each apple is cut into three equal parts the new ratio can be obtained by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3 that is 6 into 3 by 9 into 3 is equal to 18 by 27 but in this case the quantities of the apples remain the same that means the ratio does not affect by multiplying the numerator and denominator with the same number Ram's success ratio is 3 is to 4 and John's success ratio is 4 is to 5. Let us find who has more success ratio, Ram or John. Ram cuts each of his apples into 5 parts. Now it is equivalent to that the total 20 pieces of apples are thrown to John. He grasped 3 apples, so he grasped 15 pieces out of 20 pieces. John cuts each of his apples in 4 equal parts. Now it is equivalent to that the total 20 pieces of apples are thrown to John and he grasped 4 apples, so he grasped 16 pieces out of 20 pieces. So Ram's success rate is 15 is to 20 and John's success rate is 16 is to 20. So John's success rate is more than Ram's success rate. Let us understand the procedure now. If two ratios A is to B and C is to D are to be compared then first 
find the LCM of B and D. Divide the LCM with the denominator of the first ratio. The result should be multiplied with the numerator and the denominator of the first ratio. Same procedure should be followed for the second ratio also. Now let us understand this better with the help of an example. Compare 5 by 6 and 8 by 9. Solution. Here the denominators of both the ratios are 6 and 9. So the LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. So in order to make the denominator of 5 by 6 equal to 18, we need to multiply it by 3. So multiplying both numerator and denominator of 5 by 6 into 3, we get 5 into 3 by 6 into 3 is equal to 15 by 18. Similarly, to make the denominator of 8 by 9 equal to 18, we need to multiply it with 2. So multiplying both numerator and denominator of 8 by 9 by 2, we get 8 into 2 by 9 into 2 is equal to 16 by 18. Now the denominators of both the fractions or ratios are equal. So whose numerator is more will be a bigger ratio. So numerator of 8 by 9 is bigger than the numerator of 5 by 6. Therefore 5 by 6 is less than 8 by 9. If two ratios A by B and B by C are given where the consequent of the first ratio is equal to the antecedent of the second ratio, then these two ratios can be expressed as a ratio of three quantities. So in this case, the above two ratios can be expressed as A is to B is to C. Express the two ratios 5 by 6 and 8 by 9 in terms of ratios of three quantities. Solution. In order to make the denominator equal, where we make the denominator of the first ratio equal to the numerator of the second ratio, we can do this by multiplying both denominator and numerator of the first ratio by numerator of second ratio and multiplying both the numerator and denominator of the second ratio by the denominator of the first ratio. So the above two ratios can be expressed as 40 is to 48 is to 54. Sandhya got 7 marks out of 10 in one test and 20 out of 25 in another test. Find which test she secured more marks. Solution. Sandhya secured in the first test 7 by 10 and in the second test 20 by 25. In order to compare these ratios, we need to find the LCM of the two denominators. So the LCM of 10 and 25 is 50. So in order to make the denominator of 7 by 10 equal to 50, we need to multiply it by 5. So multiplying both numerator and denominator of 7 by 10 by 5, we get 7 into 5 by 10 into 5, which is equal to 35 by 50. Similarly, to make the denominator of 20 by 25 equal to 50, we need to multiply it with 2. So, multiplying both numerator and denominator of 20 by 25 by 2, we get 
20 into 2 by 25 into 2 which is equal to 40 by 50. Now the denominators of both the fractions or ratios are equal. So whose numerator is more will be the bigger ratio. Hence the numerator of 20 by 25 is bigger than the numerator of 7 by 10. Therefore 7 by 10 is less than 20 by 25. The ratios of runs made by Sachin and Dhoni in a cricket match is 5 is to 9. Dhoni and Yuvraj is 6 is to 7. Now find who scored the most runs. Solution. Ratios of runs made by Sachin and Dhoni is 5 by 9. And ratio of runs made by Dhoni and Yuvraj is 6 by 7. So first let us make the denominators of both the ratios the same. We can do this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator of first ratio by the numerator of the second ratio and multiplying both numerator and denominator of the second ratio by the denominator of the first. So the above two ratios can be expressed as 30 is to 54 is to 63. So the ratio of Sachin, Dhoni and Yuvraj is 30 is to 54 is to 63. So from that we found that Yuvraj secured most runs in comparison to Sachin and Dhoni. Ram and Sham have invested their capital in a business in the ratio of 5 is to 8 and that of Sham and Raju is in the ratio 16 is to 21. Find the ratio in which the profit of the business will be distributed among Ram, Sham and Raju. Solution. Ram and Sham have invested their capital in this business in the ratio of 5 is to 8 and the ratio between Sham and Raju is 16 is to 21. So in order to make the denominator equal where we make the denominator of the first ratio equal to the numerator of the second ratio we can do this by multiplying both the numerator and denominator of the first ratio by the numerator of the second ratio and multiplying both the numerator and denominator of the second ratio by the denominator of the first. So the above two ratios can be expressed as 80 is to 128 is to 168. Dividing by 8 to all terms of the above ratio, we get 10 is to 16 is to 21. So, the ratio in which the profit of the business will be distributed among Ram, Sham and Raju is 10 is to 16 is to 21. The ratio of the length and breadth of a rectangle is 11 is to 7. If the breadth of the rectangle is 189 centimeters, find its length. Solution. According to the question, 11 by 7 is equal to x by 189 implies x is equal to 11 into 189 by 7 implies 11 into 27 is equal to 297 centimeters.